got some on the speaky rod, Brandon. She's bouncing up and down, straight out the rod holder. Nice to him. You want to get your live bait, Brandon? Four at a time on the Sabiki rig. Welcome to Ozfish. Dave here. I'm out on a uh, live baiting session again this afternoon. Brandon's along for the uh, ride today. And Brandon and I are going to put in a fairly long session uh, on this session. We're going to fish until we get sick of it, whether that's one o'clock in the morning, two o'clock in the morning, daylight, who knows. But, um, we've got four rods out, we're going to fish long and hard. And I think what tonight is too is I've got both of my experimental rigs out tonight with my poppers. And tonight when it gets dark I've actually got lights rigged on the poppers. I'm going to crack those lights and just see whether uh, the lights make any difference. I'm not sure whether the popper rig makes any difference when you're dew fishing, but uh, they're probably not scared of it because so far on the experimental rig, I've caught a metre 20, a metre and a fish about 80 and a couple of big eels on the, uh, the popper rig. So the idea with the popper rig, of course, is that uh, yeah, it rattles. So it's putting out some sonic vibration and uh, it uh, maybe gives the live bait a little bit of flotation, who knows? But tonight we're just gonna uh, play around with the experimental rig. We've got four rods out. Two of the experimental rigs. We've got a tank full of live bait. We're just going to uh, we're going to see what happens, and hopefully um, we'll catch a few jewfish. We're going to have a cook up uh, a little bit uh, a little bit later on. Have some sausage sandwiches. That seems to uh, bring us uh, pretty good luck. But uh, yeah, Brandon and I have been chilling out for about 35 minutes, just waiting really for the tide to turn. And um, there you go. Brandon, is that a jewfish? That's a jewfish. Well, that looks like a jewfish to me, bro. Not real big, but a jewfish nonetheless. The other rod's gone. Yeah, leave it on there, Brad. Oh, that's that's got a bit more size to it. Leave it there. Leave it there. Okay. Let's just show. Let's see if we can test the power of a circle hook. So we've got one fish on here, one fish on here. Let's see the beauty of a circle hook. And there's a Jew there. Yeah, so he is pretty small let's actually. Grab the net. Oh, he's lively. Okay, jump on that rod, see if there's still a fish there. Fish still there? Yeah. Circle looks amazing, aren't they? A little bit better? It's gonna be better than that, yeah. But... I'm just gonna leave this GoPro here, Brandon, on. There's a fish about 65. First one for the night. Another one. He's not going to have too much size to him. Probably legal. He's wrapped around another one. Yeah, just punch him in. Okay, just grab that. Oh, there's another one, Brandon. Okay, Brandon, there's a fish about 70, so that was uh, one fish on and another fish while we're fighting that fish. So, hey, that's effective. That's a uh, double hookup, bro. Yep. All right, get him back. Smaller fish around tonight. Yeah.
five, Eddie. Yeah. Circle up, right the corner of the mouth. Yeah, man. Hell of fish, should be legal fish. Yeah, not too bad. What's that uh, three jew we've got on the deck? Mm -hmm. So far, in pretty quick order. So, yeah, it's good. It was a good hit. I don't think he's really big. Probably 80 or 90, I'd say. Step down the back of it if you can. Lively. They're all schoolies tonight, aren't they? Pop that up straight out. Yeah, 81. Oh, hang on. Yeah, 80. It's got a bit of an unusual spine. Yeah, it's got an unusual sort of like whether it's a wound or some sort of a bite or that's, that's healed up. He's lost his fin. Yeah, that's an 80. Get him back, mate. Well, that wasn't a very impressive take, was it, Brandon? No. But it's been pretty quiet for the last hour and a half, so I'll take any sort of action. up super high in the water column. What the hell? You're on this other line it looks like. Look at that, it's way up in the water column. What is it? <laughs> Jeez. Whoa! Mate, I just skull dragged that one straight across the top. Hey, look at that fish, how greedy was he? <laughs> that was on the experimental rig. Oh! Hang on, no, hang on a minute, Brandon. Hang on a minute. Yeah, that was the first fish we've caught tonight uh, on the experimental rig. Now let's have a look at this experimental rig. Let me cut this bait off. Yeah, this experimental rig is inspired by the uh, cat fishermen in America. So there's a little bit going on here. So I guess the... Uh, I've got a Halco rooster popper. That's a larger ro rooster popper. And why I like that is because it's got a rattle in it. And in America, catfish love a rattle. So I'm thinking maybe the Jewfish might like a rattle. And tonight, what I decided to do on one of them, I decided to actually put a little glow stick. And I've attached it with a cable tie underneath the, uh, the rooster popper. And uh, that was a Jewfish on it. You know, down to a circle hook. And uh, up to the, uh, the glow bead. So... It looks pretty flash, but that's the first jew fish we've taken on it. It was only a little fella, but the night is young. Let's get another one. Time for a uh, cook-up. Our favourite on the boat where jew fishing is to have onion, fried onion and uh, snags, sausages, sausage sandwiches. So, so far in the session we've uh, caught five jew fish. Uh, no, big, no big fish, they're kind of like schoolies tonight. You know, in around that 70 and 80, and we just caught a little fella. Uh, but I'm not complaining, I've, we've caught five jew fish. Uh, and it's only early in the night, it's probably only about maybe 9 o'clock or something like that. Hopefully um, we can get some uh, metre fish and hopefully we can get at least a big dog. You know, metre 15, metre 20, metre 25, that'd be awesome. But anyway, five so far. I'll cook these up, we'll hook into these and see how we go. Oh, a little 
Jeez, Brand and Chase. Something there? Yeah, something. All the things I call Brandon. Like, uh. Yeah. It wasn't tough. They've got very, very rubbery mouth, haven't they? Whoa! <laughs> hey, shark! Incredible looking creature, really. Oh, he's slapping in the head. Look at his eyes. Look at that. Yeah, baby. Okay, we'll just uh, have a quick demo in relation to how we actually bridle rig like uh, our yellowtail that we're using for the Jewfish. It's quite a big bait, that bait, but um, we're going to throw him out. Big baits are uh, good baits. We just whack him into a, uh, a rag so he's nice and easy, like to handle slip a cable tie kind of like straight through in front of his eyes and then just have a look at our there's our hook with our uh, Dacron loop on it so yeah there's a, a hook with the uh, with the Dacron loop I'm just gonna go through with it you can see our brand has sort of got the, the circle look facing down here is to have the bait the, the circle hook swinging really nice let him go really nice on top straight on top of his head like that and what that does is that gives you a uh, like a fantastic like uh, hook up rate on the Jewfish using an 8 like inline circle hook that's my favorites let's get him out there a little bit better fish Brandon yeah definitely Yeah, that was a, like a really good hit, wasn't it, Brandon? Really powerful hit. I'd say at least probably a meter. Fish. Too bad a fish, it's the best one for the night. Got him, mate. A little bit more weighty. Got him on the Another fish on the uh, experimental rig, Brandon, on the rattle. Look, straight in the corner of the mouth. Yeah. Oh. Plus, 98. Still a really nice fish, you know, Brandon. Like 98, that's, you know, we've uh, worked really, really hard tonight for that fish tonight, you know, but that's our uh, seventh dew fish. So, uh, all right, beautiful fish. Give me a bit of a hold out to uh, closer towards the camera to me. Spin him around head first to me. Yeah, that way. And then spin him around. Spear him back in, mate. There's a dew fish, Brandon. Up really high in the water column. Uh oh. Another fish, leave that one there. 
have a look up. You got your light on, by the way. heavy current. Down in the current. It sounded like a solid fish from the run. Yeah. Got some weight to it? Yeah, a little bit of weight to it. Yeah, indeed. on our popper rig mate. Could be. Steady she goes. She is. Punching holes in the water, Brandon. Heavy current makes it feel a bit bigger than it is. Probably over a meter. Oh. 96. 96? <clears throat> but a very healthy 96. Yeah. Bad. On a river dew fish. Perseverance pays off again, Brandon. It's very early in the morning. But, uh, yeah, man. Then we had a double, didn't we? Yeah, something. Yeah. <clears throat> Walk to that end of the boat if you can. Yeah. I've got a fish on that one, Brandon. So you pull that one in. Got something on there? Yeah, yeah, there is something a little. Yeah, I knew there was something on there. 
Turn your headlight off. Small, whatever it is, it's very small. Gee, fish. Hang on, hang on. Oh! <laughs> fish Brandon? Oh, yeah, jeez. One too bad a strike, go down the back. It's still going, man. It's alright, mate, just take your time, bro. Good fish? It is. Yeah, it'll be a really good fish. Put your thumb on the spool, bro, if you need to slow him up just a little. Step down the back of the boat. I'm just worried about this. Yeah. Yeah, I'll get that in line. <clears throat> oh, Brandon, that was a good hit, wasn't it? If I would have left the clicker on, you would have heard that thing screaming out for another Took a fair bit. 30 seconds, probably. He just kept going and kept going. You want to go up current a little bit? Good fish? Uh, I think it's a good fish. I'm not really used to these reels too much. I'm not used to the drag settings on them, so I don't know. Yeah. yeah. It'll definitely be over a meter though, for sure. What do you think? It's a if good hit. I'll be extremely surprised. Take a line. That's another big run, yeah. I'll be surprised if this is not over a meter twenty. What? What are you calling? Over a meter twenty. Meter twenty? Over, probably. You reckon? Well, that's a big call, Brandon. Over a meter twenty. Our PB is meter twenty. I don't know. We'll see. Has it got much weight? Put your headlight on. You think I'm going to need the big net? I mean, I could just be getting tricked by the current, but it feels like a pretty big net. All right, Brandon. It'll be over a meter. I'm go I'll say confidently it'll be over a meter. Color. Keep them away from the uh, crop. We'll do a hand over too when he gets close. So I get a good net shot. Just big thumping head shakes. Oh yeah, that's a good sign, Brandon. Big thumping head shakes. I'll be stoked if this is on me uh, experimental rig, on the popper rig.
Looks pretty close. Big fish. Okay. Too bad. Oh. Long. Yeah, that was a good hit, Brandon. On it. <coughs> oh, meter fifteen. <coughs> nice fish. Pick him up, bro. Yeah, nice fish, mate. Like it's a uh, meter fifteen. That's the fish we've been looking for. Mm -hmm. Let me check the time. It's probably about four o'clock in the morning. In the morning. About four o'clock in the morning. Okay, like uh, awesome fish, epic strike. We hung in there. All right, spear him in. All right, uh, that's a wrap for Brandon and I. We've caught uh, ten jewfish and three shovelnose sharks. And that last fish we cracked there was a really nice uh, fish. Brandon caught that fish, that was a metre 15. So we've been working really hard for that uh, that bigger fish on this session. So yeah, nice healthy fish. Speed him back in and uh, yeah, he swam down. So that's really cool. And uh, tonight uh, when I was fishing, we had um, two popper rigs out and two normal rigs out. And um, I'm starting to believe, you know, that uh, the popper rig, uh, possibly takes the bigger fish like it took the 115 tonight and it took another fish just under a meter tonight um, it's caught me a 120 before a meter fish an 80 the other day so um, I don't know Brandon you know this is about the fifth time we fished and what do you think it's I'm starting to think what do you think that it will take the bigger fish it seems to be a bit of a trend I would say you'd need a bit more data maybe like maybe 10 trips total and then you can kind of start to have a good idea i think maybe it's presenting like a bigger profile for a bait and maybe the bigger fish are going for yeah, it it's definitely got that rattle in it and um it's definitely worth having out in your spread absolutely i did try it uh with a light on the bottom of tonight but um yeah the light i don't think you really need the light all you need is just that popper and uh yeah just the, the live bait down there but um anyway it's uh, been a fantastic session for brand and i've been a long session Brand and I always fish long sessions when we're dew fishing. You put the time in, you will catch. So anytime you can catch 10 dew fish is a, uh, it's a pretty epic session. So always remember, you know, like if you like the channel, make sure you subscribe, hit the like button, hit the notification bell, share the channel around with your mates. If you, uh, if you dig Ozfish, but uh, until next time, this is Dave and Brandon signing off. And always remember, let's get some. Let's go home to bed, mate.